The inspiration for our Baron Zinfandels comes from many years of family history. My grandfather, Charlie Wagner, co-founder of Camus, started making Zinfandel in 1972 and never stopped. Zinfandel has always been a huge part of California's agricultural history, being one of the most dominant plantings at the turn of the century. Still to this day, we have some of these old vine plantings that have made it through prohibition. So with the launch of Barron, we're very excited to showcase these vineyards. Barren in Old English means the bear. It's the state animal of California. It's full of character, but it's also full of this rich history. We've topped this off with a screw cap closure. This is meant to be consumed and enjoyed in its youth. we to get a man pour in there. It is barren. <laughs> <and> the bear. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about the California is the color, the hue of it. It's got this nice bright purple character. You can tell that there's a good acidity to this wine just from the color of it. So I get hints of Bing cherry with ripe cranberry and then a hint of smoke. That sweetness kind of concentrated on the nose, but then you also have that, that nice vibrant acidity that really enlivens it. I'm, uh, I'm really happy with how this wine has turned out. I believe Zinfandel, more than any other grape, evolves more in the bottle. Having all the different sites that we pick from create a unique layer and aroma in our Baron Zen. This is what I enjoy about the 12 Napa Zen. As you smell the wine, Get hints of a uh, red licorice, a little smoke to it, and then it follows with a, a very refined tannin with a nice finish of acidity. I love how it's got this this almost you know brambly like a pie filling character, just you know cherries mixed berries, but it's also got that kind of toasted doughy character. So it's almost like a, a pie in your mouth. That six percent petite syrah was just the perfect finishing touch to really enliven this wine and add that backbone and structure while maintaining those really great core Zinfandel qualities. This can stand up to an array of foods. I think you can go straight to steak, like just a nice barbecue filet would be perfect, but you could also pair it with something as light as, say, chicken. I love the way the acidity is balanced. It makes the food better, and it accents the wine, and they complement each other very well. At the end of the day, with Zinfandel, especially these old vine, multi-generational family growers, it comes down to relationships. And these guys are extremely passionate about growing the best Zinfandel they possibly can and really continuing on the family legacy of whatever their grandfather or great-grandfather may have planted. It's, very, it's a very unique sort of scenario. We're very fortunate to be able to have these relationships and very, very fortunate to be able to craft some wines out of these regions that don't really get showcased as much as they should.